Last time I used this gear as the key light for indoor portraits. Let's show you some of the photos again. In fact, both your gear and the choice of location can help you get good photos. A relaxing environment can be a good start. Find a comfortable place, preferably with lighter color pops. I created different light zones in this photo. I think it was a good try. Don't get me wrong, I was not going to do a day shot here. I just want to do a day for a night shot on this rooftop. With the right combination of aperture and shutter speed, you can create light shots anytime, anywhere. I took a test shot to see how gloomy I can achieve. This is the effect I want to achieve. If you can catch up with the darkening sky, you can direct your snoot flash to a reflector. The quality of bounce light looks quite pleasant in this scenario. Now let's see how I use the conical snoot as rim light here. In this scenario, I use this stroke flash as key light. Let's see the photos without rim light first. This is an intriguing low key portrait. But it could be better if you add a little bit something to it. I switch on the flash at the back and turn the flash output to minimum. You may notice the rim light at the edge of your arm and hair. I readjusted the lighting ratio of the key and rim light. Now you can see how rim light adds drama to your photo. Yeah, 